So let me show you how to do this super easy. Um, the website, the instructions that it has are not super good. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and do this, even though it's pretty intuitive and easy. So basically, you're going to open up your browser and just type in Savvy Host. And it's going to take you, this will be your first thing to click on here, is the uh, hermansieb.com. And it's uh, just right there. Boom. Scroll down to the bottom. And you'll see here we have a 32-bit host and a 64-bit host. What I would strongly recommend is downloading the most recent edition of both the 32 and the 64-bit because uh, the 64-bit will only work with the uh, 64-bit VSTs and the 32-bit the same with the 32. So, um, and it's pretty easy to uh, get those mixed up in your VST folders. Uh, I know I always do, so it's good to have both of them handy even if you think you primarily use only 64. So after you have those downloaded, it was super cool. You don't even need to install it. So what I've done here is I've already put them in a folder down here. Do, do, not this one. There it go. Um, here we go. I put them in this SAV folder right here. doesn't matter what you put it in, but you can see I've got the 64-bit um, and the 32-bit versions just chilling right there. And uh, what we are going to do today is uh, make a uh, standalone host for... Uh, for one of my uh, soft synths, and it's something that you could do as well very easily. So why don't we start with something pretty cool here. Let's see. I'm in my 32-bit folder right now. I, I just completely legally obtained the uh, Dune 2 soft synth. So uh, let's uh, have some fun with that. So what we're going to do is open up the 32-bit folder. And if you look right here, I have all these uh, executable files here. And when you first uh, download it, all you're going to get is, you know, the little text documents here and then a single savvyhost.exe. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to take that and you're going to start copying it immediately into that folder because every time that you use it to make a standalone soft synth, you are going to be using one of the executable files. So here we go. What I'm going to do is get on Dune here. Ba -ba. And uh, basically, all you have to do is copy the name up to the .dll. That's all you got to do with that. And we're going to take one of these and just slide it over into the same folder. That's important that it stays in the same folder. And we are going to rename it just by pasting the name of that synth. And now if we scroll on up here, where'd it go? Ah, oh, yeah, you'll see there is dune2.exe and that right there is a complete standalone soft synth that uh, has a keyboard that has everything fully functional now if you uh, take a look right here it's uh, donationware not freeware but uh, you know we live in the real world where that essentially means it's free come on it's like reaper I don't know what they're thinking so basically here we have our uh, our uh, entire soft synth here and you know we can uh first thing you have to do uh got to go up and assign your uh, midi controller which uh i always forget to do and then it's a good idea to make sure that your uh speakers are coming out properly so there we go it's that freaking simple so now we have <laughs> Uh, fully functional fucking uh, standalone synth like that. And uh, all of the patches are in here as well. And uh, it, it's fantastic. And uh, there's other uh, things you can do with it as well. As you can see, there's a record option here. There's uh, different things you can save. You can get different plugin banks. You can only run one soft synth at a time. But, I mean, with something like this, it's, it's pretty much just to test it out, have fun with it without going through all the hassle of setting it up in your uh, DAW. So I hope that was helpful. Because that's, uh, that's all it takes. Super simple, barely an inconvenience. So I hope that was handy. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say about that.